Tango Depths has historically been a map that is super hard for players to navigate. There are many different layers, tunnels, teleports, and more that add many different layers of complexity to this map. Both new players and old players alike get lost in this twisted maze, and I want to change that in a few short minutes. As you look at the map of Tango Depths, let's break it down, where we can mark one spot in the map to be the central starting point for navigation, or to swap it around, every road, path, and tunnel in this map eventually leads to this point, the Leyline Confluence. This is the area the players will come to during the Keen of the Jungle meta event where you will fight the Chalk Garant. And during the meta event, you go down four different lanes. The Ogre Lane, which heads west, the Newhawk Lane, that heads northwest, the Radanovis Lane, that heads northeast, and the Scar Lane, that heads east, where you can use these four lanes to get to all the other big areas on the map. As you enter Tangled Depths for the first time, you start at the Order of Whisperer's Camp in the northwestern corner of the map, but you can follow the road directly east to find any of these massive holes, where you can drop down the hole all the way to the bottom where you land in the water here. As you arrive at the bottom, you will be inside of the New Hawk Lane, and you can run down the lane all the way to the Lane Line Confluence to unlock that waypoint. You can also run all the way up the New Hawk Lane to reach the Chalk Stronghold. Now an important part of navigation in this map is the usage of Newhawk walls, where you can get to most places in the map without them, but it is incredibly useful to unlock this mastery so you can use them, where Newhawk wallows is only the second mastery in the Newhawk lore mastery line, so you can get this mastery pretty early on in your Heart of Thorns adventures. Speaking of the Newhawk, if you want to get to Teku Newhawk, which is the largest settlement on this map, there are a variety of ways you can do that. You can follow the road east from the Order Whispers camp and navigate through the tunnels until you reach Teku Newhawk. Alternatively, you can drop down that hole we dropped down earlier to get back to the Newhawk lane, and then you can take this Newhawk wallow that is partially down the lane to teleport straight there. An alternative way to get here is to just run southwest of the Order Whispers camp and take this Newhawk wallow to the Undergrowth Connector. This area is kind of a random part of the map that has a bunch of tunnels connected to it but you can run straight east to find another Newhawk Wallow that will take you to Teku Newhawk. When you arrive in Teku Newhawk, either from the Newhawk Lane or via the Grub Pit in the Undergrowth Connector, you arrive on the bottom level of this place, where you can find the Wallow to go back to either of those destinations, or you can find a Wallow that will take you to the Confluence Passage. This is another tunnel that is located just south of Teku Newhawk. From this Wallow, you can run west and find a passage that heads back up to the surface of Teku Newhawk, or continue going west and reach the Newhawk Lane that we have been to. You could also run east from this wallow, and you will make it to the Radanovis Lane, where you can go across the lane to reach Radanovis, where you can also obviously run up the Radanovis Lane from the Leyline Confluence to get here as well, or vice versa. Going back to Tekken Newhawk, you can run up the ramp to get to the surface, or in the northwestern corner of the room with all the wallows, you can run down this tunnel. You can go west from this intersection and find a chalk tunnel that is just another way to get to the surface, or you can run east to get to this large underground reservoir that features an event and some other stuff, or you can dissolve this chalk door here to go through this tunnel to eventually reach the decayed hive, where you can continue west out of here to go back to the surface, or continue the path in the southeastern corner to reach Radanovis, where from that same general road, you can continue it even further by jumping up these bouncing mushrooms and continuing forward to eventually get to the Scar Bivouac, where you have a massive hole at the entrance to this place that will drop you down to the Scar Lane, or you can continue forward to get to the Bivouac and unlock the waypoint there. Additionally, from the Leyline Confluence, you can go up the Scar Lane and then take the Newhawk Wallow to get to the Scar Camp, or alternatively, you can run down the Eastern Confluence Tunnel, which starts in the southeastern part of the Leyline Confluence, to run straight to the Scar Camp without having to use a Wallow. Now there is one more major lane to go down, and that is the Ogre Lane. You can run down this lane a very long ways and eventually reach Dragon's Passage, which has a waypoint and the entrance to the next map in Heart of Thorns, Dragon's Stand. You could also complete the meta event in the Leyline Confluence to get to Dragon's Stand as well, but that is not always active, and getting the Dragon's Passage waypoint is nice. But most of the way down the Ogre Lane, you can find this new Hawk Wallow that will take you to the Ogre Village where you can unlock a waypoint. From the Ogre Village, you can follow the road west past the New Hawk Wallow in order to get to Deep Root Sink, or you can head north in order to get into the Great Tree. Now there is a whole other layer to this map that I haven't mentioned yet in this video, and it is the Underwater Passages. Where to get through most of the passages, you will want the Exalted Markings Mastery, which is the first mastery in the Exalted Lore Mastery track in order to interact with the Exalted Beacons in order to survive down here. 
where there are two main spots that I like to go to get down here. The main one is at the Dragon's Passage Waypoint, where you can climb all the way up this area and drop down this hole to enter the passages, and you can swim to where you want to go. The second spot is in Radanovis, where you can simply drop into the water here and swim down into the passages. With everything that I have said in this video, you should have a pretty easy time getting to every single major location in the map, including unlocking every single waypoint. Just remember the general idea that the Leyline Confluence is the center of the map, and running down the four different lanes will take you to most of the places you will need to go. But I mentioned many different routes in this video, and there are even more that I have not mentioned. Different ways to get to different areas in the map compared to what I have described in this video, like how you can get to the Great Tree through this hole near the Order Whispers camp, or how you can go through this tunnel to get to Deep Root Sink and eventually into the Ogre Lane. The entire map is interconnected. Tango Depths truly is an incredible and gigantic map with many different winding tunnels and secret passages, so don't feel bad if you get lost. And hopefully, this guide will help you with most of what you need. If you are having any problems getting to any spot in the map, be it a minor area that I haven't talked about, an achievement you need to do, a map completion objective like a tricky point of interest, or literally any other thing you would like help with, feel free to ask me down in the comments. I'm sure others would benefit from it as well. I hope this guide helped you, and I hope you are taking good care of yourselves. Have a good one everyone.